So I guess like what I wanted to ask you was how do you get so comfortable on social media? Like just putting yourself out there. How much time do you think you put into it? Social media? Yeah. Like a week, I, let's say. I don't know, cause I do it. I get, I work on it daily. Cause I just document everything. Like I don't make things. I just document things. Okay. What's the difference between finding somebody to like schedule your posts and somebody to help you create your post? Pushing through COVID and all the stuff and like growing the business. And now yeah. I'm ready to be like, okay, this is what we've been doing. negative reception online um i don't know because we do thank you for this you're welcome i'm so excited i never get starbucks no <laughs> i'm drinking a cold brew black this is stephanie hi and i'm drinking a <laughs> what am i having green tea latte but it's called a green belly we're in Belleville. <laughs> so I actually ran into Stephanie going to the bathroom. <laughs> and she was like, I want to pick your brain about some social media stuff. And I was like, okay. And she's like, we can have, she was like, we can have coffee. And I was like, oh, okay, done. <laughs> and she just wants to pick my brain about social media. So I was like, can I film it? Because I feel like you guys have questions too. I'm just filming our combo today. And hopefully it helps you guys too, maybe. It'll be fun if they go down. I also okay. brought you this. Oh you my gosh! Wear brown. I love it this. Your look. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Thank you. No problem. It's really convenient for like poking well, that fog thing. You know what's funny that. is I lost my keys this morning. Like I had to have somebody come pick me up. Because this I don't, morning. Yeah, the kids. I don't know where they put the keys. Oh my god. And so now this will be perfect. Look how big it is. I can see it. I know. Oh, it matches your. It purse. matches my purse exactly. Oh. Thank you. No problem. Are we in a good spot? I think so. If it's not, then I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is the best it's gonna get. Mm -hmm. So I guess like what I wanted to ask you was, I'm pretty shy on social media. Mm -hmm. And so I think sometimes people might think that I'm actually still running my business out of my van or doing whatever I need to do. And like, how do you get so comfortable on social media, like just putting yourself out there? Oh, that was your question? I yeah. didn't know what you were gonna ask. Yeah, well, I'll start with that. I have like a few. Okay, well, first of all, did you grow up using social media? Not really, I'm probably a lot older than you are. So, so I'm, you know, I have like the Instagram accounts and stuff and, and Facebook you run it. social media now, but I have to give them content. Oh. And so, um, do yeah. they edit the content or they would just use exactly what you send them? Just what we send them. Okay, that's probably hard for you to yeah. do if you don't have that background. Yeah, and because it's like, it's not on fire. Like the things that I do in the day are like things that are on fire. So, um, What's on fire? like super priority because we have the company and then there's three divisions and we have multiple employees. So usually I'm handling any problems that come up. And you're like managing the whole thing basically. Yeah. So yeah. that's so I'm hard. a CEO now, which is like crazy. So yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. But also hard to do social media if you didn't like train in it or have, you know, use it a lot. Yeah. What was your background? So it helps me a lot to be comfortable because growing up I had Snapchat, basically every single social media and I still use them personally. Mm -hmm. So switching over for the business was just natural. I just kind of post exactly what I want basically mm -hmm. still. And then I went to uni for psychology. Okay. And then I switched to graphic design. And then I went to college in Toronto for that. Mm -hmm. And then as I was in college, I had two clients, a spa and an eyelash tech. They gave me their socials to take over and completely handle. Mm -hmm. So I could like design their posts and I even did photography. So I like edited their posts and gave them content. Yeah. So I had experience with brands doing that. And then with those brands, I just learned from my own. So self-taught and then a combo of college. So all my experiences just added up. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm so comfortable. It's like easy almost for me. How much time do you think you put into it? Social media? Yeah, like a week, I, let's say. I don't know, cause I do it. I, get, I work on it daily. Like in the morning I'll post pre-scheduled posts that I had already. And mm -hmm. then I'm always editing content. I have like hundreds, thousands of hours of footage probably now. That's amazing. Because I just document everything. Like I don't make things. I just document things. Okay. 
So maybe if you looked at it that way. Yeah. If you approach it that way. And then when you're trying to create something, do you just pull from like what you've already documented? Yeah, and then it revolves around my launches and stuff. So it's kind of, it's very planned out, but then sometimes it's random if like a fun video idea pops up. Do you Does ever- help you? Yeah, for sure. Because okay. it's the one thing in the business where I feel like people don't really know what it is that we're doing. Quietly grinding away, like just pushing through COVID and all the stuff and like growing the business. And now yeah. I'm ready to be like, okay, this is what we've been doing. Yeah. But it's nerve wracking. It is. You do. So did you look up Lauren? I did. I think it she amazing. could really help you. Okay. Because like as much as I put time into my thing, like you have a family too. <laughs> and I sometimes stay up till midnight planning things and I pre-schedule things. But I also have the experience to make it work faster just because right. of my like I know what photo size to make this and what to post and what time and how to schedule things yeah. to make it flow and link yeah. and like what to include exactly. I kind of have that practice. So for you to take it on them, as much as you probably want to, I think you yeah. do need that help. Yeah, I think it's definitely something like we've tried to outsource in the past. It's just finding the right person yeah, to. Yeah, because it's like if I have to create the content and mm -hmm. put the time into it, then it's just like you may as well do it. Yeah, I might as well just post it. Yeah. Um, because now like my life is balanced stuff now where it's like once my work day is over, like I need to kind of transition. You know, I'm at I'm alone with my three kids, so it's like it's a lot once I walk in the door. There, there's a lot of things. I can imagine <laughs> right now. It's pretty least. busy. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I try to just like shut off at five, but that leaves, that would usually be when I was doing like all my computer work would have been like late at night. Yeah. I've just been trying not to do that so much, but yeah. And what would like Lauren, how would somebody, what's the difference between finding somebody to like schedule your posts and somebody to help you create your posts? Um, well, if she were to just schedule, she could just do that, but then it's just kind of like, you kind of have to over communicate to them to schedule and you, like right now, I just hired Tatum who does our design and content and now I'm slowly letting her into the design aspect. Is that hard for you? Uh, it was at first, yeah. but now it lightens the load a lot because now I can be more creative and she's scheduling. Mm -hmm. But then just the training on the scheduling, it's very specific. So it's hard if it's not someone there. Right. So I would have trouble outsourcing that. That's why I never have. Right. But and I've always wanted to. And. Is it harder now as your team's growing to like delegate more or are you finding that like an easy transition? It was hard at first. Yeah. And to be like I never thought I would be like a boss to someone, so I had to make that fine line yeah. like over friends. Yeah. Like be a boss instead of being like prioritizing friendships, which I'm still friendly, but I yeah. had to really figure that out. Yeah. And I'm good now. Yeah. It's that. hard. It's hard becoming um that person i found like telling people what to do yeah, all the time like, and telling them they're doing it wrong that's the worst part like i, I never want to tell that. make people feel bad about what they've done so yeah. i was always giving like positive reinforcement but then not i would just go behind them and like literally clean up like what they didn't do yeah. um whereas now it's like yeah you have to give that feedback and empower people but that's it's hard right. how many people are with you now um 15 but like that's amazing yeah like six or seven are remote how many are you on your team like today? Um, so we go in seasons because we have the three divisions. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> um, so we have the three divisions and one of them is suite services. So that's vacation properties. So because of Prince Edward County right here, mm -hmm. uh, during high season, we have about 35. Cool. Yeah. So like all together. Yeah. yeah. Only for that division. That's for, we'll have 35 as like our total team and then 20 will be dedicated out there. Wow. Um, but we usually have between like 15 and 20 normally um so we have people out doing residential for mommy mops and then out doing commercial spaces and then the hotels and the resorts in the summertime so yeah it's a lot and it's a lot of different personalities but having a leadership team is helpful now because we hired them so yeah 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 that'd be cool if to see all that on social media like i think your business is so cool with all those divisions and it could be so cool like lauren would have a really good time like displaying that Really? She did my site. And so I used to work with her at a marketing agency and mm -hmm. she was the creative director. So she actually taught me a lot. And then we both left there to start our own things. Amazing. And then I called her up the second week of XXL Scrunchie. And I was like, I need your help. And she just has so much knowledge from like retail and marketing. She has marketing for even like engineering companies. Like she has like a really broad range. 
but yeah. her taste is really nice. Like she cleans things up and makes them look really concise and like gets the point across. Yeah. So I think even talking to her, you guys could come up with a good plan. Yeah. And see. Because I think the message online, like what I, like how I see the company and how somebody just searching us would see the company are like totally different. Completely different. Yeah. Like even my thoughts were different after I met you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like I want people to see who we are and like what we're doing and um, see our space. And, and be able to reach out easily without like searching again. Because I was like still searching. I was like, oh, do I want to contact them? I don't know that yeah. as much. What do you think you would, when you're making a decision, what are you looking for when you're looking somebody up online? Um, to see where they're based, who they are, and like if other people have used them. So I always look at like tagged photos and stuff like that. Okay. So it's kind of like... To see like authenticity and if they're, not if they're real or not, but if they're real or not. Yeah. Yeah. I think when I meet people, if I can meet people face to face, mm -hmm. it's... Um, so much better and yeah. that's like sales right now has been hard because I'm a handshake salesperson right so it's like oh, I like yeah. to go out and like meet people and network and not having that you rely on online and then if online yeah. isn't doing up like, to standard yeah, yeah. you kind of get lost mm -hmm. so because my business is all online so amazing and then it kind of it had to start that way too how did you what did you do to pre-launch like to build your audience before you were ready to go um, so I made the scrunchie for my cousin Ann Lan, and then she has a salon in Thunder Bay, so she sold them at her shop. Okay. And then I had a previous client I drew murals for in Belleville, and I was like, do you want to buy some for their business? So they're like, okay, yeah. So both of them just promoted me organically. Amazing. And then I just shared it to my personal. And I was like, hey, I'm selling these, and then people bought them. And how long ago was that? Two years ago. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So it's just sharing like organically. Yeah. So do you share on your personal pages and stuff? Like yeah, we do. Um, you know, we grew from, you know, I moved to this area and it was like, so I didn't have my normal network of people when you're launching a business to kind of rely on. Yeah. But it was through people sharing about us and like meeting people and they would talk about us and um, refer us over. That's how we grew. So it was very organic as well. Yeah, the but, best way. Yeah. It, then it just spreads. Yeah, it was unbelievable actually. Like I felt so supported by the community. Mm -hmm. And um, so now it's just about, you know, I want that social proof. Like I want when people look us up to actually see like who we are, what we're doing, what we're capable of. Um, yeah. Because yeah, I don't even know what people think really. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what you think. Like it's interesting when you hear like, oh yeah, I've looked you up and this is what I saw. Cause like we can look, at, I want to look at you right now together. Okay. <laughs> on your, on my phone. Okay, let's look up you. Is it Mops? So we've got four four Instagrams right now. So oh. Mops Inc, Mommy Mops, Major Mops, and then Sweet Services. Okay. I don't even remember the one I looked up. But yeah, it was just very like, yeah, yeah photos. Like I remember looking at this and being like, how are they, how did they clean in there? <laughs> like I was confused how it was located. Yeah. Only because I never hired any cleaning service before so I didn't know how it worked yeah but then I was like oh I guess they operate from this main hub and stuff like that we actually started in a cubicle here at the oh, workspace really? yeah in the, the work hub and then went from there I want you to look at sweet services there was like a little bit that I put some effort into with like taking pictures at clients houses and stuff um, yeah I would look at the tagged and then be like see who used you guys okay I always look at the tag, even when I look at people. <laughs> I think I did look at the tag, and I think I looked at your like Google, um, Google profile, mm -hmm. and then there's pictures up there too. On my previous job, when I looked them up, it was like their old photos, and I showed them, and I was like, "This is like really dated looking." And yeah. then they're like, "We didn't know it looked like that," and I was like, "Yeah, I was really scared to come to my interview, but I knew it wasn't like this because of your Instagram." And they're like, "Yeah, we gotta get rid of those." So how do you like build that cohesiveness? Um, I don't know, you just have to update the pics, I guess, because okay. it's your Google business profile, mm -hmm. which is what everyone looks at when they Google you, that shows up first. Okay. So, it's easy to just drag and drop photos in there. And then you just collect reviews, too. Okay. So, I'll show you ours. So, we actually get people to write Google reviews and we give them a discount, too, off their next order. Yeah. And we had, we were using... Oh, a review. Will you? Yeah, okay, thank you. I'll even like post a picture with our space and be like, it's so sparkling clean. Yeah, I would love that. 
And so you just come out and ask people to do that. Because like any reviews we have have been people who just organically go on there and like mm -hmm. write a review for us. Yeah, um, so giving them a discount off their next cleaning service or something. Okay. And then following up. Because they have to send a screenshot of their review from Google to us and then we give them like a personal code okay. off their next order. All right. So it is like extra work, but I have someone doing that for me mm -hmm. whenever those reviews come in. Okay. And it, would they just manage it through like their own spreadsheet or is there like a platform that you use to kind of manage that? Oh, right, because my store is on Shopify so I can give discount codes within my shop. Okay. So I guess you'd have to like print cards or something. Yeah, we could just manage, manage to like keep a running spreadsheet or yeah. something. Or like a gift receipt book to like, give them or okay. break it down. Do you just have it, like when you're looking at your like You could even get off their like first clean, like if they sign up with you guys for the first time. Okay, or we do their clean because we invoice after. So if they do, we, they write a review, then we can add the discount on. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I've never asked. Oh, for reviews? Yeah, like you I have just ask. I'm I'm going to start asking. People ask all the time. Even on Instagram, you could if people DM you or something, or you could put it in your caption, like okay. in the in the bio of your Instagram. So if you were to give me like homework for like the next two weeks of something I could do right now that would improve our online. I think um, the Google profile, you gotta adjust okay. it. All those photos. Just add photos of like our like, office. Yeah, yeah, definitely your office. Get professional photos done of it. Okay. And just professional photos of you guys cleaning maybe, mm -hmm. and the team and just behind the scenes more. And then I want you to talk to Lauren ASAP. Okay. Come up with a plan. Like, you don't even need to hire her services right away. She could talk to you about what she could do. Okay. Because I think that would be more beneficial. Yeah. She would, like, open your eyes more to the marketing world. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Mm -hmm. And she would devise, like, a better plan. Like, even these photos, I would be like, Yeah, I don't even know that? how they got on there. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. that happens with Google profiles. Yeah, because that was, like, a post I wrote that was, like, really heartfelt. But it wouldn't have been like a picture I would have wanted to go on my Google profile. Yeah. Okay. Links you could fill in. Okay. So I would assign you to that. Okay. And then talk to Lauren. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm going to call Lauren and I'm going to yeah. go on my Google profile. Mm -hmm. I told her about your business too. She's like, oh my God, that's awesome. Have Amazing. her contact me. And I was like, yeah. Okay. I'm going to reach out today. And I find that misses, it's missing in a lot of um, cleaning companies is like you can't really see who's behind it. Right? They have the brands and they have the services, but you're, there's usually no face to the name, and I, I kind of want to change that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I wanted to know, like, I don't want, I want to know who's going to be in my home or, like, in yeah. my space, because it's, like, a lot for, like, a new business owner. Yeah. It's one of the only industries where, like, you hand somebody a key to your place and they keep it, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's such an intimate service that way, so um, showing people who we are and that we're trustworthy and that, you know, we love what we do is important, and as we're growing, we're buying, like, really cool pieces of equipment and machinery and... Yeah, it'd be cool to include that too, like your machines yeah. on your website. Even like a section for reviews that people who have had spaces cleaned could be featured on there. Okay. Because I would enjoy reading that, like, oh, this person had their business and they're trusting them because of this. Yeah, like highlight who they are too. I'll be on there. Okay, thank you. That would be amazing. You could put like a picture of my space on there and then what I say. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. No problem. Yeah, that was amazing. Like, it's, um, I'm really inspired by, especially because you're an online business, it's, um, yeah, I'm just so inspired. And then when I saw your space, I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is super legit. It looks amazing, so. Yeah, I'm excited to move. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go that way. Yeah. It's going to be great. I know, we'll have our own entrance. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about our space is I know, the right? entrance. Yeah. Other questions? Um, I think I'll start with that. Like, I'm gonna reach out to Lauren. You sent me her email or her website, mm -hmm. and it looked amazing. And then I'm gonna go. Like, I it made so much sense. Like, even her website template with your guys's. Yeah. And like using like a common color theme mm -hmm. and like photos. Just like having that yeah. flow. I think. Yeah. Because there's so many things you're trying to juggle. Yes. And combining into one, but she could really organize it. She yeah. organized my whole website. That's she amazing. made like the whole template and everything. So now I just update it and grown it from there because I have like so many ideas sometimes there's just like so much going on in my head and I'm like but like you have to do the business too so it's a yeah. lot yeah so having her I think will help you so much yeah I'm gonna look into that and 
um, just streamlining because I see the vision in my head like each brand is like um, it's a play on like the primary colors so we have like the yellow and then the tsunami blue and then like a coral color oh, that's cool. so I want to like pull that in a little bit more and just yeah. streamline it I yeah. love that. in my head it I looks colors. really good <laughs> yeah yeah it's just putting it out there and and being you have to be consistent yeah so that's a lot to keep up with so it's having a lot. someone to do that would yeah be game changer I think yeah, and the, con the confidence too, like, I never wanted to, it's like I wasn't sure where we were going, right? I had a hard time kind of like believing in myself of like what I was capable of. So now I'm like, I'm not even saying what I'm planning on doing, like now I just want to show like what, what you're we've doing. Done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You could even share your like unsure plans. People will be excited. Yeah. You don't have to be nervous about that. Have you ever had any like negative reception online? Um, I don't know because we do we don't really pay attention to it that much, but not a lot to be honest. Okay. Or I don't know. Like people might be like, "Oh, you're wasting packaging" or stuff like that, but we don't really doesn't really bother Just us. Just don't engage in it. Yeah. We ask how we can help them better or something. Yeah. Or people used to when I first first started people that didn't understand would complain about the price and then we would just kindly explain so we just are always over nice yeah yeah, yeah. over nice is the way because it's the only way I can really interact with people anyways mm -hmm. um, but yeah price has been a thing where people they compare you to the cheapest option and oh my god like, yeah there's a lot more expenses that go into mm -hmm. doing it a certain way like we're really big we don't need an office space to run the business but we want a space that our team can come in and they can like hang out play ping pong and like grab a drink and sit on the couch and you know we want that for them so we provide it because yeah. it helps with morale and everything yeah exactly um, but yeah i just i should just take a picture and put it up the dog is Oh my God. This is the best part of the This is Flynn. Just <laughs> He's oh like, I'm gosh. not feeling good, but I love people. <laughs> Your scrunchies are amazing too. There's not many scrunchies that can fold my hair up. <gasps> Michelle gave me one of those and it was like really? amazing. Yeah. Aww. I'm going to order some satin ones for the curls. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Here. Thank you. It's just naturally like that. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>